are some people in this world that have jobs which are so goddamn cool, I can't help but feel a pang of envy every time I hear about them. The PAP team is a group of people who I would fit under this category. PAP has been working on a project for several years to improve personal aviation. They've studied many classic flying techniques in hopes of creating something that's both old and new and will change aviation forever. I was lucky enough to talk with the three people behind the PAP project and get an idea of what PAP really was about. PAP stands for Personal Aviation Project and um, started the project because I thought I want to fly. Not with uh, 50 other people, but I want to fly unenclosed. Personal Aviation Project, uh, I actually heard about it through my, my aunt Jane. She always sends me newspaper clippings. She knows I have a great interest in uh, flight. Anytime anything kind of interesting is going on in, in flight in her, uh, her uh, neighborhood, she clips it on the newspaper and uh, mails it to me. I've had the great pleasure of having my project funded by a man who calls himself Gary. My name's Gary. You can't, it's not like I'm going to go blaming my parents for just naming me Gary. People are like, why don't you get a last name? You can go get one now. It's like, no, my name's Gary. My parents named me Gary and I'm proud to just be Gary. My father approached me and said, do you want to become the first personal aviator in the history of the universe? And I said, sure, Gary. I'd love to. My son, yeah, my son. Uh, he is, uh, he's going to be testing out the, the project today. I'm very proud of him. Uh, he, he, uh, he got his, his love of aviation through me. And uh, he's been really involved in uh, the PAP project. There had been controversy in the past regarding PAP's usage of animals as test subjects. The primary subjects for the personal aviation program are categorized in three simple principles, which I call the three P's. Penguins, pigs, and people. First of all, penguins, because I feel that they've been chewed out by God, given with wings, but no aviation ability. Secondly, pigs, because I just wanted to prove that old idiom wrong. And of course, people, because are people on top of everything? especially the world, and I want to accomplish that, personally. There's this other group. They're also trying to develop personal flight. They're best at it. I worked with them at the beginning of this project, and they stole my idea and went off on their own to try to achieve this, my personal aviation. It's mine. They were pretty jealous of our advancements, and I think the exposure we were getting they, they, they put out a smear campaign. So uh, we've just kind of referred to that as the pap smear incident. We don't like to bring it up very often. They, uh, they put out ads basically saying that uh, we're a bunch of kooks, we didn't know what we were doing, and that quite frankly we were dangerous to ourselves and to others. And I don't think you're really allowed to go around saying that to somebody until maybe they've actually hurt somebody. And then, I mean, yeah, throw them away with a lock and a key. I hope one day, well, I don't hope, but one day when he's gone, inevitably, I will become Gary. And I hope to maybe have some, my own little Gary sons running around. And then we can go together this is a dead Gary's grave. And dead, dead Gary's grave. That's uh, my grandfather. His name is Gary's son. I, uh, I gave him that name as my father gave me while my father was alive. When I die, he can become Gary. And uh, I will become dead Gary. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful process of life. In the early testings with the pigs and the penguins, we did find um, occasional dropping out of the skies were occurring after about four minutes of flight. We think we t tweaked 
the wings and the device just enough so maybe we can get six or seven minutes out of it. But I hope to have my feet back on the ground long before that time comes. We've used rubber for the straps this time, which gives it a little leeway in terms of letting air pass over and under the wing. And uh, that's pretty much it. For today's events, I predict success and success on the up and up. Always personal aviation program will rule supreme. I predict success. There may be a few kinks because this is uh, our, our first flight test with a human being, but uh, the past projects, trials with animals have gone fairly well. This is not the natural order. Of Gary's. The tradition of Gary's has been ruined. I'm supposed to be dead, Gary. I should be dead, Gary.